We have the privilege of representing uh, Dr. Javier Garcia Bengochea, who is a uh, neurosurgeon in the North Florida area, and the Havana Docs Corporation in claims against uh, Carnival Cruise Lines and other potential defendants for the exploitation of our client's property by Carnival for profit, property that was confiscated from our clients wrongfully by the communist government of Cuba in 1960. In the 1960s, the Castro brothers and the Communist Party friends came and stole our property from my grandfather at gunpoint. That was a business his father built in 1917 to supply and modernize, and it was a successful business. The cruise lines have been using Havana Docks Port infrastructure for several years without consequence to them. Carnival may have been the first American cruise line to officially arrive in Havana at our family's docks, but Costa Cruise Line started 10 years before that, and they're now owned by Carnival. They knew very well the ownership. It wasn't a secret to them or anyone else. The cruise lines have also known of Title III since 1996. We now have to take them to federal court in Miami, and we'll have to face the justice of U.S. courtroom. Thanks to the Cuban exile community and the Libertad Act, we can finally get justice after 60 years. From those that stole our property and from those businesses that have been using our ports for their own business, <clears throat> for their own business purposes. And finally, our clients and others in their position are going to have the opportunity to seek justice, which has been so sorely denied to them for so long. I'm the claimant for and the legitimate owner of the port facilities in Santiago de Cuba. I began this crusade for full implementation of Title III almost 10 years ago. So we're pleased to have the opportunity to be the first to announce lawsuits under the Helms-Burton Act against Carnival. They were the first cruise line to traffic in our stolen properties, so they deserve the ignominious distinction of being the first to be sued under the Act. I'm also pleased that for the first time in 59 years, an American victim of theft by the Castro regime can legitimately stand before you publicly and assert their property rights and seek damages to those who are using these stolen properties by the Castro regime for their business expressly for profit.